Hi all, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we will be understanding about the lookup transformation in mapping data flow activity of ADF. So for this purpose, let's go to the input and the desired output data sets. So we'll be working with two input stream data sets, which are the product and the store. So in the product stream, we have three columns, product ID, product name and product description. And the corresponding store data set is having store ID, product number and store location. So here you can see the product ID from the product stream and the product number from the store stream is the matching column on which we will be joining. And you know that the lookup transformation is used to refer the data from another source in the data flow stream. This is taken from the Microsoft documentation page and the lookup transformation appends the columns from the match data to your source data. Okay, so the output data stream will be all the rows from the primary stream will exist in the output stream. All the rows have existed with additional columns from the lookup stream and the additional columns from the lookup stream is the store ID and store location we have taken. So they are displayed and how they are displayed on the basis of the matching column, which is the product ID and the product number okay so let's see here the product id was 208208 okay for two of the products and corresponding to that 208 product number we have the data in store id as 3 uh, hc and store location as orlix so that is updated okay next comes the product id 119 so here we can see the 119 data 9xn and mumbai that is updated next comes the product id 310 okay this product id does not exist in the store stream okay that is the lookup stream so it will be black okay so here we are actually doing left outer join okay so the main stream is this and the lookup stream is this so all the rows from the left side okay and the matching uh, rows from the uh, lookup table okay so this is the lookup stream so ultimate result will be similar to the left outer join okay so let's go to the official documentation page of lookup transformation in mapping data flow so here also it says the same thing okay and we'll now see how we have to configure the different streams and the different options present there so let's go to the short data factory let's create a new data flow name it as data flow lkp and let's add the source so before adding the source let me show you uh, the source which is present so here is uh, our container and input folder within which there is a lookup folder and the two files are present in the form of csv so first is products.csv let's preview it so it has three columns okay and next comes the store.csv which again has three columns okay and we have to now add these two sources so let's create the source one as the product source gen 2 it's a csv let's name it as product source link service is already there first row is having header click on it then we'll browse to the file location it's inside the input inside the lookup folder as product dot csv click on it click ok click ok okay we'll name the source as product okay so this is done next we have the another stream source 2 so we'll name it as store and we'll connect to the store data set which is again in the gen2 storage location as a csv store data set link service already in place first row is having header we'll browse to the file location input 
store.csv click ok click ok so we have the two sources created next comes that we have to add the lookup transformation so click on the plus sign and search for the lookup transformation so it is under multiple inputs outputs as lookup so click over here okay we'll name it as lookup store okay we are doing lookup on the store and then we'll configure here so the primary stream is product okay and the lookup stream is store right so in the lookup stream in the drop down select store the match on we'll leave it as any row which is default and the lookup condition is on the basis of this product id and the product number column so here from the left stream okay which is the primary stream the product column will select it as product id which is equal equal to the right store column so the store stream it will be product number okay so click on it so here we have the product id equals equals to product number okay so left and the right stream which is the primary and the lookup stream we have uh, set the lookup condition match on is any row as you can see here we have match on options different options are available first row last row if there are like multiple occurrences in the lookup table so to handle that and in the lookup condition also here we have the multiple equality not equal to less than greater than those things here so let's go to the data preview and since the data flow debug option is already enabled we'll refresh to fetch the data okay so here we have got the product id product name product description store id product number and the store location okay now let's attach the sync okay sync of lookup okay the data set will set at the gen2 location as a csv file lkp sync first ref header in the output let's click ok click ok And in the settings, we have the file name option, which will be output the single file. Set single partition will be enabled. Okay. And the output to single file name, we'll write it as product store lkp.csv. Let's go to the data preview. Click on refresh. So the data has appeared. Okay. We can see. So that all the rows have appeared from the left stream and all the matching rows from the lookup stream okay so this looks fine let's now uh, validate all and publish the changes and now create a pipeline and move our data flow activity over here okay validate debug let's wait for it to complete So here it succeeded let's go to the output so in the output folder we have the file as product store lookup.csv click on it edit preview so here we have 
the three columns from the product stream with all the rows and three columns from the store stream that is the lookup stream with all the matching rows okay so we have accomplished the task so this is how we use the lookup transformation in mapping data flow activity which acts as the left auto join uh, with some other configuration settings there i hope you have got the basic beginner level understanding of the lookup transformation in adf so thank you for watching the video happy learning bye